I know you're excited to, to when you realize that WrestleMania 10 was 30 years ago. Today, oh, as of our recording date, you know why I think this is significant? And maybe the only reason it is significant is because it's, I kind of, How many years ago was it? 30. There are people listening that were not alive for the Yokozuna Bret Hart main event. I think that was kind of a dividing line into the more cartoonish comical era and then into where it would go. It wasn't ready yet, but it was the first one Hogan wasn't on. So the hulking up and brother style would have been potentially on the way out. The talent you had in place were people that would have carried it to the more believable contest-based product like Sean, Scott, Brett. We still had to lose, like Dink and Doink are still there and Men on a Mission are dancing around on the Bushwhackers and Harvey Whippleman and Mr. Fuji, but that was right where it was going to become. They hadn't watched enough ECW yet, but when they watched a little more of it, we would have had the Attitude Era. That was 94, I want to say, right? 94. When did you come in 94? Was it? Came in 93. Came in 93. So your the title was December 94 into 95. I got thrown out of the ladder match. I closed line razor on the floor and got thrown right, out. Right, right, right. That was the ladder match. Yeah. That was the ladder match. Because that was the whole thing is they just sat there and they're like, okay, so we're going to have this ladder match. And I was just I'm like, guys, just fucking, like, we need to get me out of the fucking the equation, like, you know, like you guys are going to, I'm going to fuck shit up. So, like, get me out of there. Mm -hmm. So I did, I clotheslined Scott, like, within like, probably the first minute of, of the match. Yeah. Plus, I knew it was going to be something that was going to be epic because I didn't have some on the road. I knew they were going to get all this. So. I made a big 10 grand and went and sat by the monitor. Right. But that was my biggest payoff, like, you know, to date. To that date. 10 grand for a fucking close. Yeah, that match, even stylistically, that match. A, that a, a, a yeah. warning of what was to come. It was really kind of a turning point there. I did notice something this past week watching Raw is... I don't want to watch the Osprey Spot Fest. It doesn't make sense match. Nor do I want to watch a version of a match that's trying to be of uh, like collegiate wrestling match. Right. I, I don't want. You know what I mean, in don't the middle. Want, Lies entertainment, right? Yeah, in the middle yeah. of that is where you, where I think it works. I'm not a bit. I don't like the no sell. I think that that's one of the like that's a, a pet peeve of mine. I'll see clips, and then out of just nowhere, people will no sell, and I'm just like, if you had that superpower the whole time. Why did you take such an ass beating for 17 minutes? If you could just turn around and fucking hit a most muscular and no sell. Yeah, it's stupid. But see, Hogan's was different because it was a thing. It was like Kiss playing rock and roll all night. It was we because it, it. it was a pattern. Exactly. But it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't done entertainment. I would hope not. Right. You know, when he went to his heyday, extra days, mm -hmm. I would hope that nobody watched that and went, oh, fuck. They're really, him and the boss man are really fucking going out of here. Hey, you know what came to mind just now? Were you in the Halloween Havoc Chamber of Horrors match? No, I was supposed to be. That's the one you're supposed to be. You got hurt. No, I think my feelings got hurt because they pulled me. You didn't get hurt? No. I thought there was Oz a Oz never got hurt. Injured. I was but listening to Then again, to old... Oz never gave nothing to the Tin Man. Right. 
because you couldn't see in his eyes being behind the thing. I was listening to an old broadcast. There was a New York overnight, like three o'clock in the morning on WFA and Jody McDonald and this guy, Rich Van Cuso, used to do like insider wrestling radio for one hour. And they were going over a card in 90, that would have been 92, right? And they were going over a card and they doing the rundown and they were like, yeah, Chamber of Horrors is going to be an electric chair and this and that. And they go to the they said, and Oz is going to be, I'm like, I don't think Oz was in that. So no, Diamond Stud with I think Stud was in that. One Man Gang was in it. Like Abby? Wasn't Abby in there for some reason? I, I think, think so. I, I, yeah. Maybe maybe Mick was in it. I don't know. Oh, probably Mick, yeah. 